Welcome to Throwaway Emporium, where our goal is to wind up on every wanted list known. How can I... Oh, hey, Nora. How's it going? hey -o, Artie. How's business? Ah, can't complain. Really? That well? No, I mean, I physically can't complain. I recently bought some kind of jelly from this tiefling that smelled like gasoline and well... Everything is just awesome. I feel awesome. I don't know how a tiefling smelled like gasoline, but... Damn, it was nostalgic. I don't know what gasoline is, but if you're happy, then I suppose it must be lovely. Listen, that pistol you sold me was great, but I need some more ammo. You mind? Sure. How much? Two boxes should do. Oh, and I need more of those reagents as well, pretty please. Coming right up. All right. Shayna and Ocelot finished with that warehouse security job I got them. I managed to make Bart finally make peace with Gillimore's apothecary, so we can afford healing herbs again. He uh, refused to forgive the incident with his horse exploding, but, well, he'll at least sell to us. The rest of the gang are also working on some odd jobs today, save for Lilani and Bart. They're both on house arrest for... Uh, Orion? Orion? You know I'm right. Whoa! Oh my, happy to see me now, are we? You know, honey, there are subtler places. <laughs> what are you just strolling in here for? I'm no expert, but I do believe it's called shopping, darling. Right. How did you break in here this time? Orion, oh, sweetheart, I walked through the front door. <sighs> Why? Is someone giving you trouble again? More the opposite. Why can't you just live quietly? Because... Then how am I going to become the greatest thief in the world? Yeah, I think the greatest would be, you know, quiet. Boring. Okay, what are you buying? Bullets, chemical reagents. I have to say, your artificer makes top-of-the-line products. I'm surprised more people aren't buying. Because I'm trying to keep things quiet. But alas, after five years of peace, that's starting to break down. I wonder why. It's almost like people go crazy when locked away from the world for five years. Should give him more freedom. No. Whatever you say. Now, Orion, as much as I love the boldness for once, you're starting to hurt my arms. Do let go, please. Oh, uh, sorry. Hmm, with a grip like that, it's as if you're worried I'll disappear or something. That's... look, don't, don't say stupid things. You know, you could come with me. I could use some muscle. I, I can't leave him by himself. What? He can't spend a weekend alone? It's my duty. I'm heading north, near the Norkman border. I'm going to meet Yero and Maro for this job. The twins are okay? Amazing what you know when you keep in contact. I broke every rule in the book by telling you why I couldn't. I've violated my oath enough as is. Your family's more important than an oath. That order meant something to me. And you mean something to me! Sorry. It's fine. I'd be angry if I was in your shoes, too. You told me before, where you go, I go. And where I go, you go. Those weren't just pretty words. I'm trying to keep our family together. And I appreciate that. With that in mind, I guess a small visit wouldn't be the worst thing. Provided we're not walking the entire time, I can't... Don't worry, it'll be an adventure just like before. You know the twins will be happy to see you again. It's been almost a decade. I'll pack my bags. Just let me put someone in charge. Righty tidy, lefty righty, fruity ratitude. Nori, I got your thingamabobs and your dingle bobbins and the, the hollow point rounds chambered in express. All ready to go here. That'll be... Fuck if I can do math. Nine silver or ten. I don't know. What do you got? Uh, five silver and a pack of Imperial cigars, if you let me borrow Orion for a bit on top of this. Agreed? Oh, fuck yeah. You can have that at Walking Glass of Prune Juice for a half eaten sandwich deal. Hey, Bart, do you have a minute? That depends entirely on what you're about to ask me. I need to go out for a while. Okay, you do that. Yes. What, for like a day or something? Uh, a few days, maybe a week or two. Come again? Two weeks? And I need someone to keep things quiet here for that time. Are you huffing paint? What makes you think that's even possible? Look, everyone else is working right now. You and Lilani are the only ones here. Then ask her. Or 
Come on. Oh, she's very responsible. Neither of you are fucking responsible. I just know since you take care of kids, you at least know how to take care of something. Touche. Fine, but I want something in return. By the gods, what? What could you possibly want? I don't want to pay rent for two months. <laughs> Absolutely not. It's so I can take my kids out on a field lesson with regular university brats. Uh, okay, fine, but only because it's for the kids. Aw, oh, you little scamp. I knew you had a heart under that armor, buried deep beneath that crusty personality and decades of emotional abuse, you practically scream. Bart, I swear to the gods, I'm going to hit you. Just say you'll watch the Artificer and keep him out of trouble. I will do my best to do one of those things. That, that's the best I can hope for. Oh, we are so going on an adventure. <sighs> okay, come on, Orion. It's just, it's for work. If you're not at ease, you can do your job. Just going to make sure she's okay. Just gonna make sure the twins are okay. Gonna... How long were you there? You're adorable. <clears throat> I set up everything for this little outing. But I'm serious. If it takes too long, I'll have to go back. Oh, don't worry. Once I get back to the twins, I'll have what I need to complete my job. What even is this job you keep mentioning? If I tell you, you'll want to join. Nora... Come on, you gotta tell me something. Orion, you have to trust me. I'll explain more when we get to Yarrow and Amaro's place, okay? I... And then Hedge, the poor thing, is trying to sign and tell the guy she's sorry, but, well, you know, Hackerin, barely anyone understands sign there. I'm drunk and can barely translate. Guy takes a swing, but Hedge is twice his size, so she panics, kicks, and sends the guy flying. He hits the walls, grumbles, then the bear heads on the wall fall on him. <laughs> it looked so silly. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like I missed a lot. Yeah, yeah, you did. But when you're saving the world, it's understandable. I'm just happy we get to have these kinds of conversations again. We talk here and there in the scrapyard. No, no. I mean this. Not running around, playing guards and criminals to save face. I mean this. Here. Quiet. When the twins and Hedge were asleep, and we'd always take the first and second watch. When we heat talk for so long that we wouldn't even notice the sun coming up. Good times. I'm sure we'll have that again. Hmm, maybe. You know, I think of all of them, you've definitely changed the most. What do you mean? I'm still Orion through and through. <laughs> Not even close, darling. Remember when we first met? You were so different then. I swear I didn't know what to think when I first saw you. I remember that. I'd just gotten my ass handed to me and this other group of rats stole my damn coat. Still have the scarf here with me. Aren't you a sweetheart? You were so hopeless. Thank goodness I was there to save you. Seems our roles got reversed along the way. Now you're the stoic, and I'm the fun one. <laughs> hey now, I'm plenty of fun. Oh, are you now? And just how? Fun, are you? Uh, oh, uh, sorry, sorry. No, no, it's, it's, it's fine. So, you still stay in New Forge? Uh, y yeah, yeah. For now, it's the easiest city to get lost in. Densest population. We can hide there with the ease and the partial subterranean parts. We could always go home. I can't. Can't blame a girl for trying. <laughs> I'm gonna get some rest. Yeah. Yeah, same. Night, Nora. Yeah. Night. Ugh, stale bread again? 
You hear what happened in Taconia? Yeah, I didn't think it could get any worse. Five years and they lost so much already. <laughs> Rumor says there's demons scouting near the Velmine Mountain Pass. Pretty soon the merchant princes are going to start demanding everyone do their part. <laughs> Not looking forward to that. Ekren is strong. It won't fall nearly as hard as the West. Besides, we'll lease the children out. They can do something useful, like digging latrines. Step ahead of you. Been leasing them to Prince Arvan for the past two months to clean rifle parts and make arrows. Turned a small profit. Ah, sadly, one of them died when a little demon snuck into the warehouse. The beast killed one of my urchins in front of that Nora kid. And now the little knife here isn't working. Her head's been all scrambled for two weeks now. Smart bastard. Shame on the dead kid. Yeah, just beat the other one a bit. That'll set her straight. Way ahead of you. She'll come around after a few more sensible lessons. <laughs> What the hell do you want? Where's your coat? Someone stole it. I don't have anything left, so fuck off. There's nothing left you can take. Oh. Hmm. You can have my scarf. Uh, don't really have anything else. But, have it. What? Why? The fuck do you want? I don't know. I don't know what's happening anymore. The adults say the world is ending. I guess. Oh, well, might as well just have fun with whatever time's left. I'm Orion. What? I said I'm Orion. That's my name. Oh, that's a nice name. Now you say your name. That's how it works. Oh, right. Sorry. Nora. Maya. My name's Nora. Well then, Nora. <laughs> Do you have problems being friends with a human? No. Can't say it bothers me. Good enough for me. If the world is going to hell, how about we have some fun until it's lights out? Fun? Yeah. We take what we want, do what we want, and we don't listen to anyone but ourselves. <laughs> that sounds great. Okay, Orion. Where to from here? Well, first, we need a home. Let's go looking for our own castle. Come on! Uh, are you sure? Of course. From now on, where I go, you go. And where you go, I go. So let's go. Oh, we'll need to find a crew too. Stupid Ori. The twins live here? You know them, Orion. They never really liked people. After you were taken, things only got worse. When the cataclysm was over, they wanted to move as far away from people as they could. I tried to convince them otherwise, but... Well, you'll see. Yarrow, Marrow, where are you, darlings? Nora, you're back. Not alone, too. Whoever could this be? He reeks of foul magic. You're going to pretend you don't remember. Pretend? Us? Darlings? Never. Hey, whoa, whoa, what the fuck? Yarrow, Marrow, what are you doing? Who is the human? Does he have you under a spell? No, it's Orion! It's our Orion! Let him go this instant! Inconclusive. Human trickery, probable. Chance of it being the real Orion is minimal. Impossible. Probable. Unlikely. Room for error? Impossible for us. Naturally. Naturally. It's our Orion, I swear to you! Fine then. Prove you are Orion. Quickly, too. What? My sister said prove it. Ow! My brother said to do so quickly. All right, all right. Meryl, you never showed it in front of your sister, but you, ow, you cried over that girl you left behind in Hackerin. I comforted you in the Silver Steed pub during our guys' night. Does he speak the truth? He does. I am saddened you would hide your emotions from me. Unnecessary. It was a male-related conversation. I required advice from the only other man in our team. Your argument is acceptable. And Yero, you, you always thought that Nora was the coolest person in the world. Y you copied her hairstyle till you were 15. Then you wanted to be your own person. You've always kept your hair just like that because I showed you. Westerners believe from a standard of beauty. It portrays confidence, which you believed you lacked for a long time. You told me, and I quote, you don't want to live in a tall shadow of a small elf, and then thanked me with a hug. Orion? You hugged someone? I was emotionally vulnerable at the time. Interesting. A sight to behold, no doubt. Yeah, 
It's me. Small elf? What the hell's that supposed to mean? It means I am... observant? Oh, just shush! Orion, you reek of foul magic. I order we weren't afraid of the weapons the enemy used. Black magic is forbidden for a reason. We should not lecture him. He has only just arrived. Please, come and sit. Yes, please. Nora, this brings us joy. Thank, Thank you. you. What happened after the cataclysm? I know you all and Hedge followed me here, but where did you go when it was done, and who? Wounded us? Elves, proud and noble, those that lived here. Never wanted foul bloods to settle nearby. We offered healing herbs and spells to nearby villages. Elvish magics twisted our cures into poisons. The townsfolk blamed us. We only narrowly escaped. They broke a horn each. Cut us many times. They would have had our tails had we not scared them with our magics. Of course, we wouldn't die there. We're not just any sorcerers. We're Yarrow and Marrow, and we're far smarter than anyone else. Naturally. Naturally. I'm sorry. You did not hurt us. You were kidnapped. Couldn't be your fault. I could have come back. It doesn't matter. What's important is you're here. You'll finish that job one day, and then... And then we'll be a family again. Hedge has grown. She speaks now. He talks? She has a lovely voice. Like songbirds. Chirping at the first drops of winter's end. That That's good. Where is Hedge? She farms now. Lived with us for a short time, but she traveled many days south. Met a human. Probably the only tolerable one we care to speak to. Not including you. We love you. We merely tolerate others. You understand. She has two children as well. Wait, Hedge has kids? Her human takes good care of her. She smiles. A lot? Do you want to meet her? I... another time. Nora, you said you had something you needed to do. Weren't we here to tell the twins as well? A job. For us? How thoughtful. I can still never tell when you two are being sarcastic or genuine. Shall we clarify our emotions for you? With sarcasm. Perhaps in this form of dialogue. Smart asses. Naturally. Naturally. There is a job, but... How's about we just enjoy this time for now? The four of us together again. Just missing Hedge. And it'd be perfect. We'll worry about the job tomorrow. We own board games now. I'm tired of beating her at Dragon Chess. If you would like to play again, Orion. Oh, gods no. You're a nightmare to play. Dragon Chess is a stupid game. Goblins and Trade Routes is much better. Oh, now that's a good one. Not only are you wrong, you just sound stupid. That game is just the economy, but with stupid little goblin characters. Don't encourage her, Orion. It's not my fault you can't excel at basic economic understandings. Clearly, I was born the smart one. And you failed to grasp the simple mathematics of chess. You were lucky to even pass a basic understanding of the fundamentals of the Arcanium. You keep bellowing and we'll settle with another duel. <laughs> Nora? Are you ill? What's so funny? Us. But we did not make any jokes. Did we? No, no. It's just... I'm so happy. I have my family again. Come on, let's just pick something and let's just laugh for a few more hours. I know the perfect game. I'm grabbing Pioneers of Cayman. Oh, you are on!